Good evening, everybody. Welcome back to another Hurricane Isai's uh, video here. This is actually a major update, and we actually have hurricane warnings now for Flor the Florida coast, including many areas in the central coast of Florida. We have hurricane warnings, hurricane watches, travel storm warnings, and travel storm watches for much of the eastern, southern, uh, the, much of the eastern Florida coast in general. And this is about to possibly get very, very close to over the Bahamas as they are under hurricane warnings as well. This storm's still at 75 miles an hour, but we have actually possibly an eye developing here. I'll actually show you that. We have a possibly a very clear eye starting to really develop here and this can maybe inc increase the possibility of it strengthening so really watching at the big threat for Florida as it could possibly be a hurricane skinning landfall, a very brief landfall. The low pressure is just over the coast, but it's going to bring big impacts for areas like West Palm Beach, areas near uh, extreme areas, uh, extreme uh, very well-known beaches here uh, for Florida. Before we get into the video, please subscribe if you're new and hit the post notification, post notification icon so I know you guys like videos like these. Without further ado, this is this major tropical forecast. Here's now a look at the National Hurricane Center. Here we have now Tropical Depression 10 has now formed, which I don't really care about at this point, really, because we have Hurricane Isaiah. And here we have Hurricane Isaiah now at 75 miles an hour and 991 millibar. So it has gone down a millibar, which means it's starting to really strengthen. And it's now moving northwest, directly northwest at 15 miles an hour. So that means it's going to, we're going to head straight for Florida as it's going northwest. But obviously when it gets closer to Florida, it's going to possibly do like a more kind of north, northwest turn, really. As you see, the storm's really heading straight for the, about the big Grand Bahama Island there. There we got it at 991 millibars and 15 miles an hour to the west. Let's go and check out now who's in the, the track or who's uh, under what uh, watch or who's under what warning. Here we have Melbourne, uh, Titusville, Vero Beach, and Stewart. Those You guys are under hurricane warnings here. And that is for portions of the eastern or more like east central coast for Florida. So Vero Beach, Melbourne, Stewart. If you guys know anybody in those areas, they are under a hurricane warning, which means you are expecting hurricane force winds at this uh, possibility or uh, when this storm gets get close it's really likely now to possibly make landfall over these areas like this or it's going to be extremely extremely close to the coast but i think this could very well make a landfall here and here we have tropical storm warnings for a portion of orlando orlando you guys are under a tropical storm warning st cloud uh, Oki, uh, Okeechobee, Okeechobee, and then we also have areas like Daytona Beach under a hurricane watch here. We have also areas uh, outside of Daytona Beach, the, the county to the west, are under tropical storm watches here, because that's where at that point we'll be heading further out into the coast. It's kind of like make landfall here. It's gonna go like that. Let me actually choose a different color here. It's gonna make land. It's gonna come from this. It's gonna come from the, the southwest of, or southeast. Make landfall very briefly and then possibly go out to sea at that point, which is obviously going to bring less wind for those areas more to the north. Let's go check out now the southeastern portion of Florida. As you see, we got Homestead under a tropical storm watch, Miami under a tropical storm warning. We have West Palm Beach under a hurricane warning as well. West Palm Beach, you guys are under those hurricane warnings. Uh, uh, Book of Ratton, you guys are under hurricane warning. Fort Lauderdale, Bell Glade, uh, Clewiston, you guys are under a tropical storm warning as well. So really huge updates with the storm here. But there we got huge as well. Uh, hurricane watches for more of the north part of that storm but we also got daytona deltona you guys are under travel storm watches and we have storm surge watches for areas near stewart fort pierce fair beach uh, palm or not palm bay melbourne tudorsville and all the way up to daytona beach because we can possibly see two to four foot storm surge with the storm that's actually a lot of storm surge. a three foot storm surge or high can easily pick up a car there and obviously you got Hurricane warnings for portions of the or all of the Bahamas really as this storm gets really really close to the Bahamas here and that's going to bring in some really big possibilities here as well especially since it's possibly developing an eye right now so this thing can barely be a lot more organized and maybe by the next update this could be at 80 miles an hour very well likely this thing could very have a lot better structure it's just is it too late for this to avoid Florida that's the point is it too late yes yeah, it's possible to strengthen a lot but will it strengthen in time to the point where it avoids Florida, that is the question here. Here's now a look at the satellite imagery. And as you see, we kind of have this, obviously, a lot of circular rotation right here. Here's this whole storm right there. You can kind of see this eye, or it's not popping on satellite imagery, but you're going to see where I see that right there. 
We have a center convection right there. You kind of see the dip. You kind of see a lot. Of, you have a lot of inflow in the storm. You see a lot of outflow in the storm. So really, this thing has got a lot of vorticity, a ton of vorticity, really. And so there, there we got the storm right here. Uh, this whole that's where we have really the strong winds. But here we have the really strong, the very widespread banding. There we got the banding right there, the low pressure right here. This thing's a very well, a uh, very well looking tropical system there. We already have the outer band cloud cover already for the Bahamas. We kind of have cloud cover of uh of the storm actually heading right now towards the Florida area. So we have cloud cover right now. We have some nice cloud cover, slightly cloud cover heading towards Miami already in southern Florida. That is from the system. But as you see, kind of the northeastern part of the storm really has a lot more of that cloud cover. As you can see, it's a lot more organized. This eastern part of the storm in general looks a lot more organized than the western part of the storm, which is exactly why this did fall apart earlier today. It is because that western storm did let dry air in, and we had a trough uh, kind of forming right here, and that kind of really did affect that storm a lot. But there it is, the trough has now gone down and we got a center convection right there this storm is looking pretty organized really uh we still have a lot of cloud cover in the east area, uh, east area uh right there near the Dominican republic and haiti and then we have a lot of cloud cover now for portions of cuba as the storm is expected to possibly there at the center right there it's expected now to possibly go straight to the northwest and then go like that that's kind of where we're expecting with the storm actually it's gonna be kind of like this so there's a center right there there's a center possibly like this and then, oh my gosh, why can't I draw this? Why can't I draw this right? All right, so the center's by right, right here. There we go. Yeah, the center's right there, and that's gonna possibly go straight to the northwest, and then boom, make landfall, make a landfall, and then go out back to sea, uh, right there. Let's go check out now the RI, um, RI loop here. Let's actually, uh, move my screen a little bit to this like that. There we go. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Now we can see the screen here perfectly. All right, there we go. All right, right here. Yeah, you see this this convection is kind of dying down a little bit, but it's really popping up. It's kind of died down, and now boom, popping up once again. So that's where we have our new center convection, which is exactly why we are possibly seeing the strengthening and why we could possibly see an incoming eye. We really need it. To, we really need it to close up right now. We do not. We do not need it to split up. We do not need it to split. Um, obviously that means it, it kind of really kind of fall apart at that point. But we have. Serious convection, one in the west and then one uh, one in the west and one in the east. Uh, but really, it kind of seems like this kind of part is starting to become a lot more organized. This western part of the storm developing a huge center of convection there. And let's go check out now water vapor as well. Water vapor is looking pretty good on this storm as well. We've got a ton of water vapor, uh, really high demand of those really warm waters. It's got to take, it's got to take advantage of those warm waters. Really, you can't just go over those warm waters and not take any convection or, uh, or any really can't really uh, just not strengthen a lot over this water and take a lot of evaporation there there we go you can see the very dense fluffy cloths because of the evaporation over those warm waters there obviously let's check out now the national hurricane center forecast as you see there we go hurricane warnings now for a portion of the florida coast with like we saw they do it just just making a landfall look at that just making a landfall so it's gonna be a very very close call still not 100% sure for a landfall still, even though they have hurricane warnings. I would probably say it's like an 80% chance for a landfall at this moment, which is a lot, a lot more improvement there. And then this storm possibly maybe weakens to a tropical storm and then makes landfall right over Wilmington. So still, I said North Carolina, I, I said it was going to make a landfall in North Carolina, whether it's a, a, the first landfall or the second landfall. I still was going to affect North Carolina. As since becoming an invest, and there we go, possibly hitting North Carolina right there near the Wilmington area. A lot of South Carolina, more air, air inland in Georgia are on this coast. going to be kind of really affecting portions of Florida. Even areas just south of Jacksonville have tropical storm watches near the Daytona area. Then we got a hurricane warnings for all of the Bahamas and a lot of the eastern coast for Florida. That's a huge development now that we have hurricane warnings. That's very well. Now we're opening up shelters. People are now buying sandbags, uh, boards, uh uh, really, the wind protectors or the window protectors, the um, I forgot the those uh, shields there. I forgot what they're called, really. Uh, right there, we're gonna wear a lot of plywood. Really gonna put on oh, protect your windows. You can use plywood or the little sheer thing. Uh, but really, there we go. That huge trop, uh, that huge tropical storm enforcement extend. Then we have a little dot for hurricane, and that's gonna expect to possibly make a landfall there. Uh, uh, let's see the tracks now. The tracks they have updated a lot, and they obviously have gone. Uh, a lot more to the west. So there we go. Floors in back in that cone right there. There we go. That's a pretty nice cone, in my opinion. Oh, that's a really perfect cone right there. 
As you see, a lot more models are now shifting it, either making landfall or getting extremely close for models that are all the way up here, and I kind of going right here. So that's a huge development at that point. Then you see right there, very, very close landfall. This won't be a huge Irma-like landfall where it's super defined, where or or like a like a Michael storm where it goes super well defined, or if it goes like that, like Irma or whatever, you know, Irma went like that or something like that. Or no. Kind of went like this. It doesn't really matter anyways. Naples and then, you know, and I'm not going to get it perfectly, but I know it went at Florida, you know, like that. There we go, like that. Okay, well, I just see just, just making a landfall. Look at that. Oh my gosh, I don't have any, I don't, I forgot I had the pen on. Just making a landfall. Look at that. Right on the, the coast at, right here. Right there. Just making a landfall. So it's not going to be super... It could be a super visible landfall, or it could be a very brief landfall where it's it's so hard to tell if it was actually a landfall. That's how close this could be. It, it could just miss. Uh, it could just miss Florida for just by miles, you know. It's still a super close call. And there we go, Wilmington and Myrtle Beach. You guys are in a huge threat. I think Wilmington, or I think South Carolina has become, uh, or northeastern South Carolina has become a huge target now. Uh, Myrtle Beach. Uh, Wilmington, you guys have now become a threat. Like I said, I don't, I don't, I do not think there's going to be an outer bank storm. I really said Wilmington. Look at all those malls. Show Wilmington. So if you're in Wilmington, let me just say this: if you're in, if you're in, Nor if you're in eastern North Carolina or northeastern South Carolina, you guys will get affected by this, no matter if you're seeing a direct landfall or what. Here's another huge track here. A lot more malls now, as you can tell, are going over the Florida area. As you see, a lot of these malls are seeing landfall. But also a lot are showing it not making landfalls. So like I said, it's not a hundred percent guarantee, but I I don't see either way this if this avoids Florida by miles or if it makes a direct landfall. We're gonna knock, we're gonna be we're gonna see these hurricane warnings here until it passes by. I don't see this uh, not hitting Florida, or I don't see these hurricane warnings being uh, delayed, or I don't see these hurricane warnings being. Um, it deleted or expiring or anything like that. I don't see these hurricane warnings being uh, uh, really taken away at all until it is necessary. Uh, so even if it does, even if it doesn't make a landfall, we're still gonna have hurricane warnings because it's gonna be so close to the coast. All right, as you see, this track is now kind of gone a lot more to the northwest, then it kind of went west northwest, and now it's back going to uh, a northwestern turn because maybe it is definitely strengthening. So if based on what this is showing here. Let me do this. Based on what it's showing, it's kind of showing this, basically, obviously. And then we got the hurricane warnings. We got tropical storm watches as far as the northern keys. And then tropical storm, uh, sorry, tropical storm warnings as far as the northern keys. And tropical storm watches as far just very close to Jacksonville. So a lot of the eastern coast of Florida, no matter what. But there we got hurricane warnings for areas uh, as far near Daytona, areas near Melbourne. Tillsville, you guys are all under those hurricane warnings as well. All the Bahamas and even Turks and Caicos, you guys are under a hurricane warning still. And then we had that really small hurricane, the same force winds there. Not too small, not too big. It's, it's I'll probably say the size of Miami and Homestead. Maybe I'll I'll say something the size of um, Miami, Homestead, those Everglades areas. I think it's the size of those areas. So it's a pretty decent size storm or size. Hurricane Forest, one extent. Storm surge is also going to be a big threat. Two to four for storm surge, all the way from the Ponte Vedra Beach, all the way to Jupiter Inlet. We can have two to four for a storm surge. Four for a storm surge could very well, if that, if that doesn't make sense to you, that's uh, depending on your car. That could be all the way up to the windows, uh, the top windows of the car. Uh, it can easily pick up a car. Three for a storm surge or above can pick up a car. And then we have one to three for a storm surge from North Miami Beach up to Jupiter Inlet. As you see, Miami. The keys, you guys up down there won't be seeing any storm surge because it'll be going around or inland of the big Bahama Island. That's going to be minimizing the threat for Miami. But definitely a huge threat for the north the north and central coast for Florida uh, for those areas. Yeah, let's go check out. Let me exactly show you where the, what I'm talking about this eye. Look at that. You see we have a really strong outer band. And then boom, eye right there. We have a closed eye. It's not super duper closed. So dry air can still get into it. It's not super close where it keeps dry air out. But look at that right there. Very, very a well-defined eye. It's very one-sided. As you tell the northern part, of the northern part of the eye is way better. We just need this eye wall to fully wrap around. And if it does fully wrap around like that, uh, like it's like it is at the top of the storm, then yes, it could definitely strengthen a lot. And I mean a lot. I wouldn't say I R R I. But maybe RO, which is rapid organization there. But really, look at that perfect eye. 
You can have this, this very strong, well-defined northern outer bands there. The northern part of the storm is by far the most organized part. And now maybe we're seeing improvement with this wrapping around here to maybe look a lot more actually like a normal looking hurricane, really. Um, yeah, but let's go check out the look at the models. Here's how to look at the GFS. As you see, GFS, uh, 990, 89, 989 millibars here with the next 12 hours. As you see, they just updated right now. The This is the 18Z model or the 18Z run. And there it is, making a landfall right there at 999, 998 millibars. I obviously think it's going to make a land. It, it could very well make a landfall. In my opinion, it's gonna, it could very well make a landfall, in my opinion, now. Uh, but I wouldn't be surprised if it, if it barely misses Florida. But it can make a landfall, but I don't think it's going to be that weak when it makes landfall, really. Let's go check out now what the uh, icon has to say with this storm as well. Um, this is the 18Z model for the icon. So it's making landfall in Miami at 1,005 millibars, even ending up in the Gulf at some point. So icon kind of seems like it's really high. It's really on something at this point, really. I don't know what the icon showing. Euro, there it is. Here's where that vortex signature is. The next six hours expected to be right over the big, the Grand Bahama Island, heading straight for Florida, and boom, makes landfall for the south central or the east central uh, coast there for Florida, and then goes up near Jacksonville and affects the Carolina areas and even portions of the uh, areas right there. Ooh, that's actually a very cool. Uh, that's actually a vortex signature right there. That actually is that new invest we have or that new disturbance there. Let's go check out now what the CMC... Actually, let's go to what the NavGem shows. Let's do a NavGem. NavGem, let's go and see what it says currently. There it is. Bring some um, very strong ones to the Bahamas. It does show it making... Barely making a landfall. Let's go actually if it does make a landfall. I can't even tell if that's a... Nope, not even... The NavGem still shows not making a landfall. I don't know what the NavGem... NavGem was doing so good. I guess we jinxed it here. Let's check out what the CMC shows. We don't actually want to look at precipitation here. Let's see what CMC shows. This is the uh, 12 these so not the new update. So it still shows it making landfall on the keys and going to goal. So I don't know. I honestly, guys, I wouldn't even care to look at the CMC whatsoever. GFS, let's go now. Go if we can go southeast already. Yep, look at this. Very, I, I gotta move my my webcam, bro. It's in the way. It's always in the way. Oh my gosh. Why is my webcam always in the way? Um, There it is. Extremely, as you see, CFC shows it kind of developing the eye. And then maybe opening up back again, but really, she uh, GFS really becoming a big storm, 988 millibars, possibly well over six, uh, well over 70, 70 miles an hour there, and then makes it landfall, of course, and then goes straight for the areas of of the North Carolina and Carolinas as well, and then that's kind of really. Let's go check out the what the H Wharf shows. Actually, I know H Wharf still shows it not making landfall for Florida, but let's go and see. The next coming hour is going to uh, go way east of the, the Grand Bahama Island. They, I guess they should rapidly intend to find so much. Look at that. 977 millibars. Uh, that's exactly why they don't show it hitting Florida whatsoever. Let's go and check out now what the uh, H-Mon wants, H wants to show here. I've actually not checked out that what the h mom wants to show. Let's actually move my screen like that. Uh, we can actually see the winds. Um, there we go. So as you see, h mom does show it possibly. Going way east of the Grand Bahama Island, but not as as far east as the H Wharf shows. And then look at this. Oh my god, these models don't even look that good at, at all, really. So guys, I hope you guys did enjoy that evening forecast. I may or may not have a very late evening forecast, depending on how the changes are. But bye guys.